Fighting intensifies between Kyiv and Moscow's forces along Ukraine's front lines, with reported casualties on both sides of the border. The Spanish women's football team coaching staff resign amid the controversy surrounding Federation chief Luis Rubiales. Thousands gather on the National Mall in the U.S. Capitol to mark the 60th anniversary of the March on Washington and Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. SpaceX ferries its latest batch of astronauts to the International Space Station for a six-month mission of scientific research and station maintenance. Kiev and Moscow's forces are both continuing to increase pressure in the Ukrainian city of Bakhmut and in the south of the country, while Russian attacks seem to be concentrating on the front line northeast of kopiansk Liman. It comes as UK defence intelligence suggests the Russian command will intensify its offensive in the region. Meanwhile, Ukraine has stepped up its use of drones as part of its counteroffensive. This after two people were reportedly killed in Russian strikes on a cafe in Podoli near Kopiansk. Meanwhile, Moscow's air defences claim to have repelled a fresh drone attack on the capital, which forced the temporary shutdown of all three major airports serving the city. It follows reports that Ukrainian drones crashed into a skyscraper in Moscow's business district on Wednesday. And in the Belgorod region, Russian authorities claim three civilians were killed by Ukrainian drones. The majority of the Spanish women's football team coaching staff resigned on Saturday, condemning the behavior of Spain's football federation chief, Luis Rubiales, after he kissed player Jenny Hermoso on the lips without her consent at the World Cup final. This follows FIFA's announcement that they temporarily suspended the man earlier that same day. The body said Rubiales will be removed from his football duties for 90 days, pending the disciplinary proceedings opened against him. The former footballer, who has so far refused to resign, was also seen earlier in the stands grabbing his crotch in celebration while standing near Queen Letizia of Spain and Infanta Sofia. Despite mounting pressure, the Spanish Football Federation threatened to sue Hermoso for, quote, lying and defamation, along with 79 other female footballers who vowed to strike as long as Rubiales remained in office. It's been 60 years since the historic March on Washington, where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. pronounced his iconic I Have a Dream speech. On Saturday, as a precursor to the anniversary, thousands converged on the National Mall, saying the U.S. has yet to fulfill the reverend's hope as the country remains fractured by racial inequality. Bernie's King, Martin Luther King Jr.'s daughter, visited his monument in the nation's capital to reflect on her parents' legacy and the challenges that still remain. We're living in a time when there's a younger generation who believes that my daddy's generation and those of us that came after didn't get enough done. Freedom is never really won. You earn it and win it in every generation. Vigilance is the answer. On the 28th of August, 1963, some 25,000 people converged on the Lincoln Memorial in what is still considered one of the greatest and most consequential racial justice and equality demonstrations in U.S. history. On Monday, President Joe Biden will meet with the 1963 organizers and the King family for the anniversary. It's the latest crew of SpaceX astronauts being ferried to the International Space Station. Early on Saturday, the capsule launched from the Kennedy Space Center, carrying NASA's Jasmine Mohbeli, Denmark's Andreas Morgensen, Japan's Satoshi Furukawa, and Russia's Konstantin Borisov. The four will begin six months of scientific research and station maintenance. This marks the first U.S. launch where every seat on the spacecraft was occupied by a different country. It's really an exciting moment, and uh, of course also on behalf of ESA, I really would like to congratulate all our partners for having achieved uh, uh, this uh, milestone and this uh, wonderful launch. Uh. Liftoff was originally set for Friday, but additional reviews of valves in the capsule's life support system delayed the process. The countdown was almost halted again after the discovery of a small fuel leak in the thruster system. NASA is set to send another person to space from Kazakhstan in mid-September, along with two Russian cosmonauts.